A court decision late yesterday could have a big impact on which candidate represents where you live. A three judge panel has ruled that the current state Senate redistricting map is unconstitutional under Tennessee law. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has an in-depth look now at the maps and the impact and what it means for all of us, right? Sure, Rory. Well, this is the proposed map, and if you take a closer look, let's go into Davidson County. You can see that there are lines just going all over the place. Case in point, you could be living in Old Hickory and someone living all the way over in Bell Mead has the same state senator. Well, the so-called gerrymandering is not why the judges threw out the proposed maps. It was something a little more technical. In some ways, it's a technical error, but an important one. News Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan says the panel of judges overturned the proposed state Senate district map because of a numbering error. The language in the Constitution is pretty plain that when you do that within a county that, have, that has multiple Senate seats, you have to number them consecutively, and they're not in Davidson County. The chairman of the Tennessee Democratic Party called the ruling a victory. Republicans have drawn illegal maps, and the courts are finally stepping in to help correct that. The court told lawmakers they have 15 days to fix the problem. In those 15 days, Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally tells News Channel 5 they plan to appeal the decision, but if an appeal isn't granted, the Senate will begin working on a backup map. If lawmakers choose to renumber the districts, that could cause a different complication. When you change that, somebody might wind up having to run this year that didn't plan to, and well, that would be the ultimate fruit basket turnover, wouldn't it? That's because in Tennessee, odd-numbered Senate districts are up for re-election this year, even-numbered districts in two years. Chairman Remus says they'll be ready either way. But what's most important in either one of those scenarios is making sure that we have strong, credible candidates. And with a, a deadline extension, it gives us an opportunity to make sure that we have somebody viable if that does happen. Now, we wanted to hear from the Tennessee Republican Party for this story, but they didn't call us back. Because the district maps are in upheaval, the state has actually extended the qualifying deadline to early May. So candidates in these redrawn districts could still enter the race. Guys.